Hello, today I'll be talking about a recent update to Safari that has led to system memory leaks which can really slow down, bog down your computer like crazy and it can really slow down Safari, etc. So the first thing to do is to go to Spotlight and type in Activity Monitor and in here go to the Memory tab and you want to sort by the highest memory and if you find Safari at the very top with memory size of several gigabytes or higher and it keeps climbing and a lot of times the Safari will be in a red font as well uh, then you know that there's some kind of memory leak going on and uh, mine's fine as you can see right now I already fixed the problem on mine but if you're having it then you can follow these same steps as well to fix your issue so what you do you'll basically just need to recreate a fresh copy of Safari for yourself on your computer so in order to do that we'll go to finder at the bottom left corner and go up to go at the top of the screen hold down the option key or alt key and go down to library and you can let go of option and what we'll be doing is dragging files from this user library folder onto the desktop to get them out of the library folder and force the computer to create its own new version of these folders and so the first one we'll look for is Safari here it is Safari so you'll click and drag this folder onto the desktop and it should disappear from your user library and then for the same thing we'll do saved application state since it's right here and go down looking for a com dot apple dot safari dot save state so this one right here we're going to move that folder to the desktop as well and then we'll go into our cache files and uh, here we'll look for com dot apple dot safari there we go com dot apple dot safari and we'll drag this folder onto the desktop as well as anything else that has com.apple.safari so this folder and this folder as well so those three folders you'll drag onto your desktop and then we'll go into then we'll go into the internet plugins right here if you have anything in here um, toss that onto the desktop as well I don't have anything in mine and then go to your preferences folder and we're basically just trying to root out everything that has to do with Safari in here. So, um, in your user library. So, go to com.apple.safari files. Scroll down. There we go. So, you're looking for the com.apple.safari plist, which is right here. Go ahead and, and drag that to the desktop as well. Then we'll go to our cookies folder. Cookies folder. And in there, look for com.apple.safari and then this safe browsing drag that to the desktop as well and then that is it for the user library one more location we we'll want to go to our go and then go to computer and in this list click on your hard drive which may be called Macintosh HD and then go to library and in here we we'll want to look for the internet plugins folder which is right here and delete everything out of here except for this Quartz Composer plugin. This one you'll likely need to type in a password when you move something out of this folder. So I would just select it all, holding down Shift, hold down Command to unselect this one, and then drag them all out at one time. Then when you, with all that on your desktop, you can then reopen Safari, and that should open up a brand new Safari, it should recreate Safari on your computer and it should be a fresh copy and that should resolve your issue. Once that is up and running you can then delete all of the files that are on your desktop, move them to the trash and empty it. So I hope that helps and good luck. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more Mac related content, for troubleshooting tips, how-to tips, etc. And I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks for watching.